Hi everyone, this is Lorraine and this is Brian and today we're going to show you how we made peppermint bark. This is all we have remaining because we gave a bunch of it away ate a lot. and ate a lot <laughs> and it's really good so we're going to show you now. Okay. All right, see you. <laughs> In a double boiler we're taking one and a half bags of chocolate, special dark chocolate from Hershey's, so just a dark chocolate. Um, which is, I guess there are two cups, so we're using um, three cups of dark chocolate. We personally don't own a double boiler, so we just took two uh, saucepans and filled one with water and placed the other on top. And that's how you make a double boiler. As the chocolate melts, we're going to add six tablespoons of heavy cream. We're adding two teaspoons of peppermint extract. In a greased pan, we chose this one because it's going to be easier to break. You're going to take your first layer of the dark chocolate and press it on. This is the chocolate laid out. Now same thing with a one only one bag because we like more chocolate. Um, yet our dark chocolate than white. Um, just one bag of white chocolate which equals two cups and we're melting that down. Your melted white chocolate. Um, we've added a little tiny bit of milk just to make the consistency a little smoother. I'm gonna melt that nice on top and a nice spread it really nice and evenly all over. Spread evenly I took a bunch of candy canes, put them in a Ziploc bag, and crushed them with this lovely meat tenderizer. And that evenly spread, and now we're going to refrigerate. Refrigerated for an hour, and because we uh, greased the pan, it is going to slide right out, and then we can bring the nice thick layers of the peppermint bark. Cut into little pieces so we can distribute them properly.